Senator Brazel. On January 15th, we lost a legend, an Algonquin legend. Former NHLer Gina Ojik from the Kitigan Zibi Anishinaabeg Reserve passed away. Born September 7th, 1970, to Papa Joe and Giselle, Gino had very humble beginnings like many of us. One of six children, Gino learned the importance of sharing and taking care of others, as his parents had cared for up to 32 foster kids during their lives. He worked hard with his dad, helping to take care of the horses and working in the bush until he had the opportunity to play out hockey outside the community, first with Hawkesbury, then with Laval. In high school, a teacher asked Gino, what are you going to do with your life? Well, without missing a beat, Gino replied, I'm going to be a professional hockey player, to which the teacher's reply was, yeah, right, good luck with that. Gino went on to play 605 NHL games with the Canucks, Islanders, Flyers, and my team, the Montreal Canadiens, although he had a few more penalty minutes than 605. <laughs> Gino could light up a room with his presence, his friendliness, and his unwavering optimism. He had a heart of gold and a demeanor that made everyone around him feel special. And he had a passion for life that was quite simply infectious. For Gino, life was never about accolades and achievements. He was a humble, genuine, and loyal man who, was always, who always listened to others and was committed to giving back to the community and to First Nations. Gino was much more than a hockey player. He was a, a model who showed us that everything that uh, he who, who showed us all what determination and a positive attitude can achieve. He was also a loving father, very proud of his children, and a loyal friend to many. To the spirit world at the young age of 52, we can take solace in the fact that he lived life to the fullest and had many unique experiences. He lived every hockey player's dream, having the opportunity to play in the Stanley Cup Finals against the New York Rangers in 1994. In a moment of pride to all of us, he was immortalized in the BC Sports Hall of Fame, where he was pleased to be placed beside Pat Quinn, for whom he had much respect. See Gino Akitila. While Gino left the spirit world at the young age of 52, we can take solace in the fact that he lived his life to the fullest and had many unique experiences. I invite you to join me and the entire Algonquin Nation to pay tribute to his spirit, to do what the uh, fans in Vancouver was to do, and that should chant his name so that the Kitigan Zibir Anishinaabeg Reserve, an hour and a half north of here, can hear him by chanting, Gino, 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 Gino. Gino. Miigwech. Gino.